What is going on guys? It is summertime. Yeah. This is our first time to the river this year. Our local river, it only opens up for a few months out of the year every year and it just opened up. We are headed down the river. We're gonna look for some crawdads. Let's show you guys what we got here. So we are coming to this big iron bridge right here. Are we gonna snorkel? Where, where did you snorkel last time? I snorkeled in the pool right down here and on the pool on the opposite side. Okay, hey guys, so check this out. We have a great big pool right down there. Oh man, this is gonna be epic crawdadding. And then right over here, this is the pool I hit first. Cause it's, the, that, you have to oh. fight the current over there, but right down here. Oh, right it's calm. Area. Yeah, you see the so, sand on the bottom? Uh-huh, so you guys see that sandy area right down there? That is where we are going. Crawdads love being in the sand right by rocks. And uh, Mike said, you don't have to fight the, you have to fight the current right over there. I have to fight the current over on that side. Right here, it's just right. Woo. We're crossing over the river here, guys. And we're gonna go to this island and just kind of make our base camp. The water is clear. We should find crawdads pretty easily if they're out. I'm a little bit nervous that they might not be out right now or they might be kind of hard to find, but we will see. All right, guys, we got our wetsuits on. Let's jump in the water and let's see if there are any crawdads out. Alright guys, I took a little break and I ran to one of my subscribers, Lee, out here, and he's actually a diver too. And so he's gonna go down, he's gonna, he's, he's uh, one of those snorkel uh, river treasure people, and so he's gonna try to find some stuff. It just opened up this year, so it's not really that great yet, although you just saw my brother just found a phone. But anyway, he's gonna go in, so we'll see if he finds anything. All right, guys, so like the first 30 minutes of the day, my GoPro was acting up. I don't know if it was the really cold water or what, but uh, I got the issues resolved, and that was pretty cool because I actually met Lee when I was up on shore messing with it. Uh, anyway, I went back to the crawdad hunting, flipped over a rock here, and found a crawdad, but you can see that little white thing there. I thought to myself, is that a credit card or something? So I grabbed the crawdad first. And a nice little morsel there, tasty to eat later. And then I went and grabbed this thing, and it was a name tag. Jonathan from McDonald's. If any of you know Jonathan from McDonald's on Overland Road, let him know. I have his name tag. Anyway, I brought it over. My brother was picking up crawdads like crazy, and he found the phone. Um, and so that was pretty cool. Tons of people hang out on that bridge, so... Uh, you know, just all kind of, who knows what's, what else is down there, and you guys will see in a second some of the things we found. Found this nice big crawdad here, and you know, they weren't out walking around in the deep water like normally they are. It seems like they were just coming out. Uh, we had to flip over rocks to find them, but that was okay. Um, and it's still early, and they just dropped the level of the river from the overflow right there. I got one right there. He was pinching me so hard. Um, uh, but we got the crawdads and almost missed them. <laughs> I grabbed him out of the... He got away for a second and grabbed him. Whoa. Grabbed him out of the air. <laughs> that was fun. And this was interesting here. Flipped over a rock. I see a big one. Grab it. Flip it over. And it's a female. She has a whole bunch of little tiny crawdads under her tail. And it's I've been, it's been years since I've seen that. That was really cool. So I put her back. Um... I was just carrying a whole bunch of little baby crawdads under there. That was that was really cool. We actually found a lot more of those. And it's just flipping stuff over. And then, boom, I got, got probably the male right there. Um, yeah, I got him. We ate all the ones without eggs. And then I saw a little fishing sinker right there. Grab the fishing sinker. Now they're crawdad. I mean, they, once you start flipping over rocks, they all just came out everywhere. And this little guy actually ducked into a cave there. I couldn't get him. I never ended up getting him. And then Micah here. He's all, all some pops up. He's like, look what I found. This is the craziest find. Yeah. We, oh, besides the... Are you rich? <laughs> we got his... Our, Lee is over there. Guys. Oh, dude, I'm riding home on this bad boy. <laughs> some, some kid must have lost it off the bridge. Yeah. 
That is just the crazy. <laughs> that is one of the top five craziest finds on this river, right there. That's Guys, insane. you gotta check out Micah's video. I'll put a link to it in the description. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, since Micah found that board, I'm gonna go down there because a lot of people jump from this bridge, and I'm gonna see if I can find anything. So I go under the bridge here, and uh, I start diving down, looking around. And my first dive, I found something. I'm like, "Ooh, is this a credit card again?" Grab it to move the rock. It was jammed under there pretty good. Pulled it out, and it's Big Owls. Um, and it's Big Owls is a like a bowling slash party place around here. And uh, looked at, and I actually didn't even think that much of it. Uh, I just thought it was like one of those rewards cards or something like that. Didn't you know look at it too closely. And but it says rechargeable on the front there. And I actually discovered something about it later, which I'll show you guys. But at the time, I actually didn't think it was it was uh, worth anything. And uh, so continue hunting the crawdads. I looked under that bridge a lot, could not find any other uh, cool, cool things. But uh, so we just resumed catching crawdads for the crawdad boil. And the mica, Ooh. boom, that's this Godzilla of a crawdad right there. Like the Godzilla of crawdads. Wow. That's the second big one today I've been able to wow. find. And this is crazy. We came kind of to this place uh, where it was it was quite a bit sandier, and I thought. Um, uh, normally the crawdads are walking around in the sandy spots, but they're all really huddled up, and they were covered in, in uh, a lot of more darker color than usual. So they just started coming out. You can see them kind of crusty, they have a uh, you know kind of stuff hanging off their their claws and stuff. And then here I found a uh, there was there were several under a rock. Like there was one right there. I tried to get away. It is so much fun under there, guys. If you can get a wetsuit on, or if you, you I'm sure. Look, that, look how big that one is. Again, it's all kind of crusty. It's like they just came out from hibernation. If you guys can get a wetsuit or something like that and catch these, it is so much fun. It is so much fun, and they're tasty too. It's just a fun thing. So uh, I go back, flip over another rock. It was like just picking up. I knew one was under this one. There we go. So I was like, yeah, you try to escape. They kind of do that sometimes. They'll they'll use the silt and stuff to try to get away. And uh, went back to that same spot, and I knew there was a big one under here because I just saw the claw sticking out. And, like, it pinches me right here. I'm like, whoa. And I thought, that is a big crawfish right there. And it turned out there were actually a couple under. The rock was, like, stuck in the sand. I couldn't lift it. So I thought, I'm just going to dig it out. You see the other one pinching me right there. And this one, boom, I pull it out. I was like, this is the biggest one of the day for me. Boom, grab another one. Turn around, and it's the same thing. It's a female with a bunch of little crawdads little baby crawdads on her so and that's why they were kind of easy to catch they weren't normally the bigger ones are harder to catch but they were kind of sluggish so I grabbed the male I, I basically ate her husband uh, yeah I kind of feel bad now that I think about that but uh, anyway kept the males and just kept flipping over rocks and this one oh this one juked me so I'm like wait what he doubled back the other way I don't know how he did it little Houdini crawdad there but grabbed him that was a really nice one there and just kept flipping over rocks and about one about in one in every two rocks there was a crawdad under it and another this one gave me the slip too for a second but they were all a little bit sluggish they just weren't as fast as usual so all the crawdads tried to get out <laughs> cut that up tight guys that's a nice mess of crawfish right there and then we actually had, when we got in this spot, we had several in a row. I, I, I probably had like half a dozen. Mike said he had about half a dozen. We caught them, flipped them over, look, a bunch of eggs. They either had eggs or little baby crawdads. Some of them have actual little crawdads that could swim around like they would they would swim away um, under them. I think this one, yeah, this one too, she had eggs on her. So we just put all those ones back and uh, kept flipping over. But this one little area must have been a good crawdad spawning spot I guess and this is something funny while I was flipping over rocks you see I'm kind of stirring up the silt and everything after a while especially in this calm spot I had this little school of fish that followed me around and uh, they were just eating all the little plankton and stuff I was stirring up so that was pretty funny I think they're a little like shad or something like that and uh, yeah it was just a great time underwater Let's see this all right guys check that out in an otter box case Case is a little dinged up. Looks like it's been down there a while. You're shaking, dude. I'm shaking too. That water's dude, cold. Yeah, it's still cold even with the wetsuits. Let's check it out. Escape to the mountains. I think it escaped into the water. <laughs> That's still like in good condition though. I mean, iPhone, 
Oh, it's a newer model for sure. It's at least seven. If, if it's newer, it might be waterproof. Sweet. Cool. We'll see if we can fire it back up at some point. I don't know, but that's <laughs> still a fun find. Good. So Lee found some crawdads too. It filled his bag there. That's sweet. So do, you, do you eat them as well? Oh yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. crawdad boil. Uh huh. They're You're delicious. Go on the boil tonight. Uh, cool. Cool. Guys, guys. There's a dude up there. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump all the way from up there. He's doing something. All kinds of people jump off that there, guys, and that's why there's all kinds of good stuff in the water, though. So we like jumpers and we like floaters. Lee, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. My Micah. Micah? Yeah. Nice you can check out his channel too. It's a little bit smaller, but but uh, yeah, it's Get Busy Living Videos. So. All right. I'll link to his and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So. All right. <laughs> I love watching you guys. All right, say, well, sounds good. good. See you, Lee. Yeah, have, a Have a good crawdad boil too. Yeah, we'll do. What a good time in the river. Catching crawdad, first time crawdad boil in the river, guys. Got everything set up. We got our little pot here. And we have the little cook stove ready to rock and roll. Got some Old Bay and some Zatarans um, crab boil today, so the crawdad should be scrumptious. Let's get cooking. Oh wait, guys, 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 check this out. There's a mama duck and her little babies. <laughs> she just gave them a command and they all <laughs> that is cute. Step one of the process, we're just gonna get some river water. Probably about that much. And set it on our little stove. For the seasonings today, we have Zatarain Shrimp and Crab Boy, which is a staple of this channel, if you guys our uh, loyal subscribers. And then we have some Old Bay though that we're throwing in. I don't use Old Bay a lot. You guys recommend that to me all the time though. And then I have some popcorn salt sent to be my, by one of my subscribers. Uh, we talked a little bit in emails. Thank you so much. And then we have here uh, some butter. Look, the butter, it's so hot out here, the butter's already melted. So we'll be able to dip our crawdads in the salted butter. So now we just have to wait for that water to boil here. It's boiling up nicely. Here we go, Old Bay going in. I'm told to be very generous with the Old Bay. Is that generous enough? Uh-oh, have to blow on it. Keep it from boiling over. And then these Zatarans, shrimp and crab boil. I like my crawdad spicy. And finally some salt. And I'm always generous with the salt too. Look at that morsel. Guys, um, if you are from the south, you have to purge your crawdads apparently. Apparently you guys do that a lot, but here, where we're catching them in such a clean river and stuff, we do not have to worry about that. So I have people ask me that a lot. They're like, why don't you purge those? And uh, here, the crawdads are so clean in this very clean river, it is not necessary. Just grab a whole handful there. And then this is just funny to me. Found uh, Jonathan from McDonald's. I found your, wonder if I could just walk into a McDonald's, you know, just figure out what polo they're wearing and then clip this on and just walk in and just start working like I've been there forever. I have worked at a Chick-fil-A. So, you know, just walk in and just pretend like I know what I'm doing and YouTube, like, like just strap a secret camera on and see how long I could get away with it. That would be a funny video. Anyway. Uh, and here's a big Owl's card. I didn't realize it's a gift card because faintly on the back it says 50 right there. 50 on the back. So this might be, uh, this might have some money on it. We'll have to go play some games at Big Owl's there. So anyway, pretty good find. Not as cool as Micah, but pretty good find. Check them out. Look at that. Like a little tiny lobster. 
so we just turned off the craws they are looking good I'm gonna let them sit there just for a minute or two and kind of soak up the juices you know this is the first time first time using Old Bay on crawdads so this should be interesting it's not so much that these like fill you up it's just a cool meal to go out and like catch these yourself and then cook them up. And here uh, in Idaho, we can only catch them a few months out of the year. So it's so much fun doing this. Let's say a quick prayer real quick. What a blessed day. Let me get my brother here. And there we go, guys. A bowl of crawdads. Mike has his bowl. Oh, is this it's like a Christmas box? <laughs> What's inside? Oh, crawdads. Yay. And we have melted butter with the Christmas Ooh. box. Dude, I'm psyched for this. Uh-huh. Let's see how these taste. Now these were in the mud just a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna grab one of these dark ones. Guys, look at this. Here's the difference. Where's my butter? Here we have, I'll catch you your butter. Here we have a light one. And look at how dark this one is. I think it's probably because it just came out of the mud, I'm guessing. And part of it is the seasoning was on it. So, I don't know. Dolby, your butter's right there. Thank you, good sir. Master always graces Dolby with butter. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Dolby doesn't like the spice. <laughs> Dolby's mouth is on fire. You know the meat looks the same. I pulled, I pulled it out of the crowd and looks, looks exactly like it always does. Oh, it's still good. Yeah, it is. There's no flavor change. Mmm. It's got that little spice cooked into it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Is that the Zatarans? Zatarans and Old Bay. Mm. That's why it's a little bit different. Claw here. This is actually a fairly soft shell. Normally you can't break that open like that. The claw meat is always more tender, guys. Yeah, it is. Let me see if I can finesse this out here. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Take a little bath in the butter. Oh, that's good. Guys, we didn't even, in fact, this today, at the start of this day, I wasn't even planning to come down here. And then Micah was like, text me, he's like, I'm going down the river, you want to go down? And I said, sure. Yeah. And so, it was just half a day. In fact, we only didn't head down to the river until like 1.40 in the afternoon. Yeah. And you just drop in, and as you guys saw, crawdads everywhere. You guys can do this yourselves. And, um, where's my butter? Oh, bro, here you go. Thank you. Um, you guys can do this yourselves. Mmm. Mmm, so good. So I highly recommend trying it. Crawdads all over in the rivers. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out, <laughs> out on this afternoon adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.